this is Car Maria. I'm here with Real TV Films. And I would like to introduce you to my new friends here. We have Adam, Kevin, and Steve. And they're here promoting their new movie, The Slammin' Salmon. Well, I've been a huge fan of Broken Lizard since Super Troopers. And uh, I started to put together a movie last year. And uh, they became our partners, a movie called Freeloaders. But uh, we've all become involved in working together and producing movies together. And the uh, uh, first one where I've been around for the process is uh, premiering tonight at Slam Dance called Slam and Salmon. Okay. Um, so I'm, I'm just like halfway partner, halfway just along for the ride now on this one, you know. Your first time here at this festival? Uh, it's my second Slam Dance. Uh, I had a film here 10 years ago uh, that I produced. And uh, I've been to Sundance other times just playing here. Steve, is this your first time at, at Slam Dance? I'll just let you guys take it away. Take it away. This is this is uh, both of our first time at Slam Dance. We've been to Sundance twice, and now we're here at Slam Dance for the first time. I actually think Slam Dance is sort of like the way Sundance was when we started coming back uh, in '97 with Puddle Cruiser. Like very edgy and hip, and the, like the like lineup you, is like you. You're edgy and hip. I am edgy and hip. Um, can you tell me more about the movie, The Slam and Salmon, and what we should expect? You can expect a lot of laughs. Uh, the movie is comedy. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It, uh, it takes place in a restaurant, a seafood restaurant, which is owned by basically like a Mike Tyson, like a retired heavyweight champion, played by Michael Clark Duncan, uh, the kind of guy who rules with an iron fist, and he's capable of going crazy at any time. And he wants the restaurant to uh, make twenty thousand dollars in one night, and so he offers a prize to the top-selling waiter of ten thousand dollars, and the low-selling waiter he's going to beat the shit out of. Can I say that on TV? You can say whatever you want. So, where did the whole concept of this movie come into being? I'm just curious how you came up with this. An experience at a sushi restaurant, or what's going on? Um, we, three of us waited tables together at a restaurant in New York City for... Wouldn't that be something? I was, I was a dishwasher, but not with them. Okay. <laughs> it was the hair. No. I was a former dishwasher, construction worker, but no, I didn't have the, well, I didn't have what it took for the tables. I couldn't hack it. Just get off my back about it, man. He, hair they think they're so cool because they did the waiting, and I washed. You were the back room. I've been taking it for the washing for years, man. So I, I didn't wait tables. I didn't have what it took. You don't know, but in the restaurant, there is a real sort of subdivision of, uh, of categories, the hierarchy. The waiters are king. Oh, I know. Actually, the, the bartenders. The bartenders. And I was there. a bartender, so I, I'm pretty much the queen of all uh, y'all. I was a bartender. Oh. I bartended at the Viper Room, so I realized I win. Now go back to talking about waiting <laughs> and busting. Go back. You're also a rock star, so that's pretty cool, too. Yeah. But I was a bartender are you, are you after really? I was a rock no, star. No, no, no. Nice. <laughs> It's the best. It's the best movie here, right? It's definitely the best movie here. It's a. It's it's red meat. If you like comedy, it's red meat. Yeah. The the, um, the sound of laughter at the top of the hill tonight will drown out the 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 sounds of all the sobbing coming from the theaters down the hill. Oh good. It's so good to have something to make us laugh instead of all this dramatic yep. stuff. I'm I'm ready they to laugh. Made the announcement. Yet. There was a poll taken about the best film at Sundance or Slam Dance. And it won by a mile. Really? A mile. I am excited. We, we took it. Yeah, by a mile. We took it last night at the apartment. I was, I was really drunk, but I, I did all the counting by myself, and it's a, uh, it won by a mile. This is great. As as a side note, I know your lyrics are very visual. Would you ever think of writing for like a movie, or was? I I, I think of writing for me all the time. My director and my screenwriter get really angry at me. <laughs> I just have a lot of uh. I have a lot of opinions. Yeah, I think he should, he should say this instead, and they just get angry. So, uh, so you just back hang off. back and wash the dishes? Yeah, they're funnier than I am. Why not, though, this new movie? Because we're working on a new movie with Adam, which you were talking about a little bit. You guys just finished one, and you're already making off. We're shooting a new one next week. We're talking about Adam, which um, we're producing it with him. It's called... Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, look at that. I jumped the gun. It's, uh, it's called Freeloaders, and it's, it's based on a true story where um, basically Adam had a... A, a big house, and uh, many people. And a big heart. And a big heart. Many people staying under his roof, rent free, because he's a very generous, very generous man. And uh, they would throw parties there when he wasn't around. And so the the movie is about Adam has finally decided to sell the house, and now these guys who've lived there for about seven years have to find another place to live. And so they try to sabotage the sale of the house, and they try to buy the house, and they try all these things just so they can stay there and live there 
rock star life um, and bask in his glory. But uh, it's a fictional version of what it's like to have a lot of douchebag friends freeloading on you. Okay, yeah. I got you. I got you. So everybody, keep an eye out for the Slam and Salmon. It's coming at you soon. And thanks for being with us. This is Cara Maria for Real TV Films.